A nationwide shortage of a drug meant to treat a chronic condition has experts keeping an eye on the supply. Adderall is most often used to treat attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Experts tell Jess Lipson there may be several reasons ADHD patients might have trouble finding the medicine. Adderall primarily treats attention deficit disorder. That's probably the biggest users and it also treats narcolepsy. Um, there are other alternatives um, that you can find, but the one that's really on short supply is the short acting Adderall. The long acting one is not what's on short supply. The FDA announced October 12th that there is a shortage of Adderall across the nation. I'm not seeing it on the acute in the hospital settings. Uh, some of our retail stores have had to um, look at different vendors to be able to obtain the product, but uh, so far we've been able to obtain um, the products necessary. While hospitals are going to be able to sustain the levels they are at, Adderall is primarily used to treat chronic conditions that is mostly sold out of retail pharmacies. The Adderall shortage um, is kind of a scary thing for a lot of our parents and for a lot of our patients because a lot of these kids that have been on the medication, all in adults as well, uh, they have a hard time wrapping their heads around where they're going to get their medications. There are other factors in play in the shortage, including an increase in ADHD cases. The other component that may be playing into the Adderall shortage that we're seeing now is that there are more and more people being diagnosed with it. Um, it is, even from when it first started being a prevalent thing, it has continued to increase with its numbers. Adults have seen most of the increase as 5.4% of men and 3.2% of women have been diagnosed with ADHD. A lot of times prior to it was not diagnosed and it wasn't adequately treated. There's a lot of comorbid addition, conditions that go along with it, including addiction, depression, anxiety. Like There's a whole lot of things that come along with it. So the numbers are only going higher and as the increase of the people that need the medication in order to function better, that's what's contributing to the shortage. The timetable for the shortage seems to be up in the air and hopes are that it can slow down around January. The issue is uh, there's been different target dates targeted at resolving the issue. Uh, it's supposed to have been resolved in the middle of October. Well, we're there. It's still there. Uh, now they're saying it could be on and off until the middle of January. In Rockford, for your home team, I'm Jess Lipson. Gonzalez says there are alternatives out there. Just check with your provider first about the best course of action. October is ADHD Awareness Month, put in place, hoping to destigmatize one of the most common neurodevelopment 